Welcome, friends, to another episode of Tiffin Box TV. I speak with photography industry leaders and who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is my friend Scott Widenkiewicz, Chief Community Officer at Imagely, and he's got some things to share with us today all about commerce. Welcome to the show, Scott. <laughs> Thanks, this year. Uh, Look, you know, I, always good to, to chat with you face oh, to face. Oh, my goodness. It's always a pleasure <laughs> to talk to you. And as I always tell my friends offline or online, for WordPress, you're my go-to guy because you <laughs> have the, the pulse of the industry when it comes to WordPress. So I'm excited about what you're about to tell us uh, that's coming from Imagely uh, today, right? Yeah. It's coming, it's coming today. out today. So let's talk Which, about we're it. Kinda, we're kind of foreshadow, foreshadowing a little bit. I like we talking sure about are. the future. <laughs> Indeed, yes, yes. So tell us, uh, Scott, what's what's on your mind? What's happening at Imagely? Uh, we got very big news at Imagely. Uh, for those who don't know, Imagely makes uh, WordPress themes and plugins for photographers. Um, and, well, we are doing something that has not existed before. We uh, are tackling an issue that a lot of photographers have had and that is having to have a WordPress website and mm -hmm. having to have a separate service for their proofing and their print fulfillment. Um, we are solving that. For a few years we have had a plugin called NextGen Pro. It is a paid plugin that is built on top of our free plugin called NextGen Gallery. Um, which has a million users. NextGen Gallery has a million free users. And NextGen Pro has the ability to uh, fulfill proof proofings, proofing orders, basically, um, and to fulfill digital downloads and to fulfill manual print sales, where you'd have to manually you know, order the print and deliver it to your client. Well, now we are solving that problem of automatic print fulfillment in WordPress for the first time ever, and we partner with White House Custom Color, and now with NextGen Pro and NextGen Gallery uh, combined, you can sell your photos on your own WordPress website, and White House will deliver, print and deliver that in a nice, beautiful, white-labeled package to oh. your customers, just like they would if you're using a third-party service, but it's from your own website. So the, the, the printing can go from White House Custom Color to either your clients or back to you, I imagine, right? Um, so what this is, is your, it is going to your client. Uh, your client puts in their address and it goes right to them, not to you. Um, you can do order it yourself if you want to do that. Um, it, oddly enough, might actually be simpler than using Rose <laughs> for, to order prints. Absolutely, um, <laughs> yes. Rose has so, been a debacle, I think. So Yeah, that, that has not been updated in I don't even know how long. Um, that is software that really needs updating. And that's why a lot of labs are starting to build their own custom ordering platforms and apps and things. Uh, but um, So you could really, if you want to, order it yourself and not do a markup on your price list, um, which uh, we've been doing in our own testing, so it's perfectly fine. Um, but basically, like WordPress represents 30% of the internet, 30%, which means that 30% of photographers are using WordPress to run their websites. And until now, they've also had to pay for another service uh, in order to do the automated print fulfillment. And now they don't. And it's a beautiful thing. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> well, it's, it's definitely an exciting time um, for photographers who are comfortable I think in the yeah. WordPress space, um, mm -hmm. a lot of people, uh, probably including myself, uh, would rather defer to people like you to say, "Listen, uh, help me out with WordPress, set that up for me, or whatever." And uh, as a long time uh, in a supporter of Shootproof, I gotta say that I'm super comfortable with the way things are, with with the way Shootproof does business, and I mm -hmm. I, I gotta give them props where where they where it needs to be given props to uh, for what yep. they've done. That said, uh, if you are somebody who has a WordPress site and you want to bring everything together under one roof, this is a phenomenal opportunity to do that, right? I mean, you've got full control, customizable uh, layouts, essentially, because yeah. it's all under one, uh, one theme. 
and you're able to sort of tinker with whatever you want to tinker with uh, to set it up in the way you want to set it up. So that's awesome. Yeah, be, well, because it's built on NextGen Gallery, uh, you have complete gallery management control over, over everything. You can associate whatever price list you want to your galleries. In fact, you can even get granular. And if you have a separate price list for specific things, you can change uh, the price list per image within one gallery. So if you want to use standard price list for one you know, gallery ABC, but then mm -hmm. the fourth photo down, you want to change that to you know exclusive price list that one photo could have a completely separate pricing than the rest of the photos um that's how granular you can get when you're customizing this it also because it's next gen gallery and you can turn on um, proofing and e-commerce per inserted gallery per each gallery you add to a, a blog post or or a, a page a password protected page whatever you want to do you can choose which display type you want. Do you want masonry? Do you want a mosaic? Do you want just a basic thumbnail gallery? Do you want the brand new tiled gallery that ships in the same, the same new update with lab integration? Yeah. Uh, so there's a wide range. Do you want it to be a slideshow? Do you want it to, you know, whatever. You can make it however you want. You're not limited to just one standard or, or two types of gallery styles for your sales or proofing gallery. You can choose. Um, and I think that's really important for people who want that control, who uh, who like having the control, who like having the branding of their sales component to match 100% to the rest of their website. You Indeed. Know? So, Indeed. Um, yeah. Talk to us a little bit about uh, two things quickly, if you don't mind. Uh, one that's of concern is obviously uh, the idea that, you know, plugins create bloat, uh, plugins can tend to get, uh, you know, your websites to slow down quite a bit. Uh, and obviously the other bigger uh, topic is plugins constantly need to be updated and watched over. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, you know, that's something that, you know, some people, as I again say, say that, you know, if you are fully integrated into the Word, WordPress space and you're comfortable, you know, working your way around creating posts and pages and, you know, know your way your way around uh, WordPress. This is a phenomenal solution. But for those who don't know or are sort of nervous about tinkering with their w website, you know, there are other options out there. Uh, what is it that you say about those three things that I just mentioned about bloating, uh, bloated uh, pages or bloated websites, uh, speed issues, and the last thing, obviously, is. Uh, you know the 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 need to constantly keep up uh, with both WordPress and also the plugins uh, because obviously as developers you're you are watching how and where and which direction WordPress is going with their uh, you know their new platform right right so uh, bloat site speed and maintenance basically yes um, yeah. Yeah, so so bloat. Uh, let's start with that. Uh, I am. We have a podcast called the WordPress Photography Podcast. So uh, before I dive into this briefly, uh, I've got a whole episode coming soon in September about this specific topic. So uh, check that out. But uh, I'll dive in just a little, little bit on this. Bloat is something that every individual person has their own definition of what bloat is, and bloat is a word that gets thrown around a lot in the WordPress space. Yeah. But not only by developers, but by the end users. And so my definition of bloat is a plugin that is trying to do too much or a theme that is trying to do too much uh, for what it should. And it and it, it does it so much that it actually starts getting confusing. And um, and a plugin that is not only doing that or a theme, but also uh, throwing in all these different JavaScript files and CSS files and all these things that are supposed to be running all at the same time and it's not controlled how it should be, which relates to site speed, which I'll get to next. But uh, what I, I, I should point out is NextGen Gallery has a lot of options, okay? It does have a lot of options and so does the most popular plugin ever for WordPress, Yoast SEO, has a ton of options. Um, the most popular e-commerce platform ever, WooCommerce, has a ton of options. So, so a lot of times I see people say, well, NextGen Gallery is bloated. Well, first of all, what do you define as bloated? 
And second of all, if you're saying it's got too many options, well, look at the other plugins that you're using, WooCommerce and Yoast yeah. SEO, and, and, and the list can keep going, Jetpack. Um, so yes, there are a lot of options. Is it bloated? Well, what's your definition of bloated? Right? That's all I can say, really. And, and until somebody tells me what their definition of bloated is, I can't answer that question in a very clear way. I, I try to answer that in the podcast episode that I recorded uh, because I actually got answers from people. I, I specifically asked the community, what is your definition of bloat? And then I answer each one. Um, so I answer, I think, like three of them. But OK, so that's bloat. Um, site speed. This is very important. It is very important, and it's something that we pay attention to heavily at Imagely. Next Gen Gallery has been optimized so that the JavaScript files, the CSS files, it only loads when it's specifically needed. Okay. If you're on a page that does not have a Next Gen Gallery and you don't have a setting to make part of it, there are settings that will make part of Next Gen Gallery load on all pages. For example, if you have the light box to load on every single image that links to an image file, then yes, the Lightbox JavaScript file will load on every page. If you don't have that turned on, then no, it's not gonna load on every page. If you're using NextGen Pro and you want the little cart icon in your menu automatically, yes, that little uh, listener for the cart will show on every page. If you have that off, of course, it will not show. So with that said, NextGen Gallery is specifically optimized to only load what is necessary when it's necessary. So if you're on a page without a NextGen Gallery or a NextGen Pro display on it, no, nothing is going to load. If you are on one that you're selling e-commerce, you know, selling your prints, of course, you're going to get all the JavaScript files and CSS files needed to display. All of our files are minified, which means that they are compressed and uh, for poor site speed. Uh, they, we are also fine tuning that in the, in, the, in the near future for further optimization to combine them all automatically. So. Um, NextGen Gallery, the way that it's built is something called modules. It's a more modern way of developing. It's actually one that most WordPress plugins don't utilize. And uh, we've been in the development community, in, in the WordPress development community, uh, it's been said, well, we're doing it wrong. When in reality, we're doing things that every other software developer outside of WordPress is doing. Uh, we're doing it that way because it's more future proof. And so the, the downside to it is when we load this module and this module, the CSS files and the JavaScript files are all separate. So we're going to be doing something called concatenation, which combines them all. Um, and we're going to, that's something that we have planned. And it's just a, a time-consuming process to, process to develop to enhance site speed. But um, we are planning that. We have uh, actually with this update of NextGen Pro and uh, recent update of NextGen Gallery, we did a full performance upgrade and we are now, we've done a lot of site speed comparisons. We are the fastest gallery plugin out there. Even with all of our options, we are the fastest loading ga uh, gallery plugin for WordPress. Um, so there's a ton of things that can be done, inclu including uh, lazy loading, which some of our gallery displays have lazy loading and pagination. We're gonna be adding that to all of them at some point. Um, there's things like Retina, which we have on our pro displays and it's coming to our free displays so that the Retina image will load in a better resolution, a higher resolution on Retina displays, but if you're not in a Retina display, you'll get the lower resolution, things like that. Uh, all these things that we're addressing and further expanding on in, you know, in, in subsequent releases. So site speed is important. Uh, I will also say when it comes to NextGen Gallery, we do something that WordPress by default does not do. We make a backup of your original file. So you, if you upload, for example, I photograph my, uh, my headshot clients with an Nikon D850. A JPEG out of that camera is like 15 megabytes, right? <laughs> it is a big file. Yep. And so uh, when I upload that into NextGen Gallery, what it's doing is it is backing up that original file for sale purposes, for digital download purposes and print sale purposes. And then it's resizing a copy of the image for the front end display. And you can specify what size you want that to be. So what that means is on the front end, the site is loading a 500 kilobyte file, 200 kilobyte file, whatever size you make it, we're shrinking it down to that size. And uh, we do this so that your site still loads fast on the front end. 
But when you sell a digital, and by the way, you can also watermark that front end image if you want. Okay. But when you sell an image, whether it's digital download or e-commerce, uh, print sale, it's selling it actually based on the original backed up 15 megabyte file, 30 megabyte file, whatever it is you uploaded. And that means it'll sell it based on the unwatermarked image for digital downloads, for print sales. It'll send to the lab at the full resolution. You get all the benefits of that. Whereas with a WordPress gallery by default, every other WordPress gallery basically that exists, when you upload, it just goes to the media library and your whatever you display on the front end gotcha. is basically based on that original file, not a compressed smaller version. Okay. Um, and if you sell it, you're selling it based on that compressed version, not the original, like what we do. So, um, yeah, and that's so that's big for site speed. There, we're we're thinking about these things already. Awesome. So, now, do you guys have a roadmap uh, at all uh, somewhere on your website where we can get a sense of what's coming or what's uh, what you guys are thinking of right now uh, as far as updates and things like that, or is that, is that uh, too premature? No, we, we don't have a public roadmap. We uh, have a list of tasks that we want to do. We've got, a, there's a lot uh, between feature requests. I and mean, you can imagine with a million users of the free plugin, there's there's feature requests coming in all day long, every day. I bet. I bet. So yeah. um, we have Trello boards and all these different things to keep track of features that we want yeah. done. And it's always nice we get to check one off. I mean, I've got some that I've had on my list for so long that I want done that there's, you know, too many higher priority items sure. that, uh, one thing that Trello has given us the ability to do is uh, literally add a new line and have it sorted by whichever one has the most lines in it. So we can say, you know, um, you know, Bob just requested the same one, the same, you know, task in the Trello board, and then Jane did, and then John did, and then you know that's now four, and so now it bumps oh, up in the in the Trello board. Gotcha. Um, so we're keeping track of the popularity automatically, which is nice. Um, so, uh, the last thing you asked me was about maintenance, right? Yes. Things need maintenance. Uh, you do need to update your WordPress site. You do need to update your plugins, your themes, all that stuff. Uh, there at Imagely, we are working on next gen gallery, next gen pro updates all the time. And, um, they, even yesterday we released an update to next gen gallery that, that had to get out there. And so if a bug comes up that needs addressing fast, we're gonna address it fast. Um, and of course, that does mean you need to now back up your site and update. If you are are on a managed WordPress host, then you don't have to worry about that stuff. They'll do it for you. Sure. So if you're on a shared host that is not managed, then yeah, you're gonna have to do it yourself. So you're gonna need a backup plugin. You're gonna need to yeah. monitor your site once you update. It just comes with using WordPress. But if you if you want something that is completely hands-off, then just go with a managed host. Um, and we're actually working on one at Imagely. We have a hosting platform uh, that was previously called Imagely Hosting. We are rebuilding it and restructuring it and relaunching it uh, eventually uh, in the next few months, hopefully, knock on wood. It's going to be rebranded as Imagely Sites, and it will be a completely hands-off WordPress uh, site for photographers and um, with great storage options and 100% hands off. Just have a site live and, you know, lab integration will be there, all that stuff. So we're is excited that, about is that. Is that gonna, I mean, not to go too much into the, the yeah. weeds about that, but uh, is is Imagely Sites gonna be somewhat like uh, Squarespace in a way where it's it's drag and drop and that kind yep. of thing? Yeah, yeah. so okay. that, is, uh, that is basically what we want. We want the Squarespace for photographers, but, on WordPress, so gotcha. it will basically be um, literally come to the site and you can start free, and you'll be able to get a free site on Imagely Sites within uh, you know 60 seconds. You'll have a completely hatched website, uh, or you can even um, it won't be an automated process, but we would work with photographers to migrate their existing uh, potentially not not every site because it depends on what plugins and themes you are using, but we can migrate at least your content. Right. over to us um, from an existing WordPress site. Awesome. And um, yeah, but we'll, we'll be, we'll, you'll be utilizing either Elementor, which is a uh, very popular page builder for WordPress, or a uh, the built-in block editor and a page builder that we're working on for that. 
uh, which I prefer that over anything else, just because of sight speed wise, the the built in block editor is blazing fast. Um, so I have uh, to admit, I yeah. haven't played with that yet. So I will I will do that and check out uh, Imagely sites when it's ready to launch. Um, one question about the automated print fill film, and I know right now you've you're going to be working with uh, White House Custom Color. Yes. Um, I'm assuming other labs are being corded right now. But <laughs> hopefully, they'll come we've on board as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we've had um, a lot of uh, conversations, um, both yeah. in the U.S. and outside the U.S. Um, we are so right now at launch. We only support shipping to the U.S. and Canada. And that's because uh, as we were finishing up development, it turned out that White House was not sending back the shipping calculations for international shipments oh, because they don't have a calculator in their API for it. So it means that we have to either build our own shipping calculator to support international shipping quick, or we need to integrate with another lab. So whichever one comes, uh, our developers find to be faster is what we're going to do. My guess is going to be develop, uh, integrating with a second lab will be faster. And we are looking at Loxley in the UK um, to be the next lab potentially <clears throat> that we integrate with so we can get at least you know overseas shipment uh, done. And uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, thanks for joining us today, Scott. It's uh, wonderful to hear about the developments at Imagely and to better understand what, you know, uh, this new print fulfillment is going to look like or feel like for photographers interested in obviously creating a WordPress space uh, that they already have, or pot potentially already have, and then having this lab integration within it all under one roof. I think that's the, ex the most exciting part. Uh, but as, I, uh, as I've sort of highlighted or underscored in the, the first part of this discussion or this, this talk with you, you know, WordPress is for folks who know their wor way around WordPress. I mean, you do need to have a little, little courage, little, little. You know, um, what what's a what's a good word for uh, you know just jumping in, being able to jump in and just try stuff out uh, and, yeah. and make things happen for yourself. Um, uh, for those who are on Squarespace, obviously this is not going to be something of interest to you. Uh, but if you are you know, considering WordPress uh, at all for your website, uh, you know, definitely think about Imagely and uh, the Next Gen Pro, uh, which is going to give you the ability to host your your proofs, uh, being able to sell the proofs uh, as prints, you know, and go directly uh, to your clients. So, you know, really the 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 the, the sort of the heavy lifting is being done by this plugin, which is amazing, yep. you know. Yeah. Uh, because it takes so much time to go back and forth with the client and and things like that, being able to send somebody a send a client a gallery and say, listen, if you're ready to 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 order, here you go. These photographs are ready to go to the, to the lab. You know that kind of thing. Yeah. So there's. Can I uh, finish with uh, just like two two or three more items that sure. I think uh, might be worth mentioning? Absolutely. Um, yeah. So you uh, you know you bring up the the whole thing about. Um, the, the desire or willingness to sort of tinker with WordPress and figure things out. We built in a wizard that will walk you through literally step by step. You can set up the e-commerce in like two minutes if you really want to, less than two awesome. minutes. But right. but um, the wizard will take you much longer if you're actually going through it because it literally takes you step by step. Um, like entering your studio name is a step. Ed entering like address one, address line one, address line two, those are all individual steps. Yeah. So there's a lot of steps if you like individualize every single thing but um but it's on board anyway, it's onboarding you right i mean that's a what, full onboarding experience yeah, so right. like as, at least as far as setting up the lab integration part and setting up next gen gallery yeah. we can literally walk you through it by step um i also want to mention that uh the packages are white labeled so just like most services do packages are white labeled um we are automatically calculating sales tax anywhere in the world so even though we're not shipping internationally yet uh, that's all set up. So no figuring out what do I have to charge tax wise, things like that. Um, and we're also doing currency conversion again, you know, we're only shipping to the U S but currency wise, you could be a photographer anywhere in the world and ship to, to the U S no problem. And it'll, it'll do the conversion in currency automatically. So those are all big things that, um, little things that sure. are big. 
<laughs> uh, w- one question for you, and this is the last one I'll ask you, is that uh, obviously this is not limited to just prints. We're talking about when we say prints, and it's anything that the lab offers uh, through 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 their interface, right? I mean, uh, prints, so yes canvases, no. Uh, no? Right. So there are prints, there are standouts, there's yes. you know the ones with the styrene backs, there's canvases. Yeah. Right. Um, we haven't added every single thing yet because we wanted to get this out the door get the feelers, get the feedback, get the feature requests, get the product requests before we added more to it. We want to just get it out and and uh, and see the see what everybody says and, okay. and feels of it before we you know add even more categories and add even more products. It just you know um, yeah. goes back to the word bloat, right? So Indeed. is that is is adding it all bloat or is adding it all waiting to add is waiting to add it all yeah. Just a smart move from a business standpoint, standpoint to make sure things are smooth before you go crazy. <laughs> well, we'll find out for sure. Uh, thank you so much again for joining me today, Scott. Uh, it's, uh, it's always a pleasure to, to speak with you. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely have a conversation after this launches uh, and uh, you know talk about Imagely sites when that's ready to go live as well. So thanks for yeah, joining me today. And, yeah, and I'll, I'll be at Photo Plus Expo. Uh, and I will have, I won't have a computer with me, but I will have a website loaded with a demo on my phone. So anybody who wants to see it on mobile, will be able to see that. Just come find me. Uh, I'll either be wearing an Imagely shirt or an Imagely hat. Uh, I don't really know yet. Awesome. <laughs> Great. I hope to see you on, on that Friday before, uh, well, on that Friday of Photo Plus Expo. So awesome. thanks a lot. Take care. You too. Bye.